because if you take this road, you can take it straight back and get to the abode over here. So, but if you haven't figured out, because this will be the abode right there. I'm going to come back up here and then back up to this little alleyway here and go over here and you can actually I don't know if I have hey enough friend. Have you a spare moment? I have an eye for people and my instincts tell me you're a trustworthy person. I'm in a bit of a quandary, you see. I'm to be gone for a week with no one slated to mind the house in my stead. Okay. Fear not. I only ask your name to list as a tenant. You need I'd be much obliged if you'd simply consider my home a waypoint on your travels. So I actually really like three different yeah, vocations. I've taken the liberty of marking the location on your map. Okay. One vocation I have yet to get is the war is like the war maker or something. Um Let me go ooh, there's it looked like there's something there. Okay. Go back down here and here. It actually took me quite a while to figure this out, so You've come. Glad to see you, friend. So what say you? Would you care to live here in my absence? As I've said, you need many thanks, friend. I knew I could count on you. I'll stop by Okay. So now we don't have to pay for an inn as long as we are in the tall. Or Vermont, sorry. <laughs> Vermont. Vermont. Alright, so. And we got a storage chest already. We don't have to deal with that unless. And now that we are in Vermont, we can don't have to deal with the inn at all unless you want to. Okay, so let's see what we got in here that we can deposit. I think I might, you know, I know we're going to need one of these. And now we don't need this. We don't need this on us. And I'm going to save that. And that is my staff. Hmm. Oh, I need to put that on. Okay. So I think I'm going to sell everything else. Save what I have equipped. The uh, lantern oil and that. Okay. So we're going to do, since I already found this ring, we're going to go over here. Put this on. We're going to put it on the right hand. And there is actually one that you can get. I actually found one that this one slightly increases your health and stamina, but I found one that is a little better than that in another playthrough. So we'll see if we can try to find that one again. Because it instead of slightly, it's moderately increases, which actually gave me slightly more health and um, stamina bars. Okay, yes, yes, I know. Let's sleep. Sleep. Rest till morning. We must rest. No, the sun is yes, the sun is still up, but my health is depleted. <laughs> okay, so I need to set a pawn quest. Nice. She defeated an ogre. Misshapen eye. Okay. Oh! She got a heart and a uh, thumbs up. Sweet. Okay. So, set a new pawn quest. Yes. Because this is the only way that they can actually earn pawn badges. Alright. So... I guess you have to encounter all these other creatures in order to get the badges popped up. Camp in... Oh! Camp 
Invernworth area three times. Okay, so Excel twice in a row. Okay, so you have to count twice in a row in the same location. Does that mean you have to count three times in, or you have to count twice in a row in the same location or you cannot? See, that's a little bit weird. Okay, so we've camped there once already. So we're going to do this. Defeat. Uh, hmm. How about we give him gold? Oh, uh, I think we're going to go down. We're going to give him 5,000 gold. Because I don't have a lot of gold at the moment and I still need to get better armor. Come on. Oh, Fusta. Okay, there we go. Five thousand gold. Confirm. It is a perilous journey I've had arisen. When that griffin came upon us, I feared we were done for. Nice. Well, why did you bring back a cyclops eye then? <laughs> Okay. Oh, we've much to be getting on with. Yeah, yeah. I hope you slept well. Alright. So we got that. So the three the three vocations that I really like is the mage, the archer slash mystic archer, and I like the spear hand. Uh, uh, is it mystic spear hand? That's really cool. I played that in one of my other playthroughs and it's flippin' fantastic! Okay, what am I doing? trying to do here? Okay, here we go. I'm in the right spot. Let's go sell our items. Well met, sir. Forgive my presumption, but were you the one who gave my granddaughter that medicine in Mel? Uh-huh. I thought so. <laughs> She's not stopped talking of her adventure since she arrived home. Well, there you that go. Girls always running off on some fool's errand or other. For and all apparently, Once you're you an supposed to be able no to now listen, give the merchants make for um, for gifts they as well to help lower their so prices. During the day. Welcome and well met. <clears throat> I don't think I've forgotten your discount now. Okay, I want to sell my stuff. Um, I know you can combine these to make stuff, but I don't generally, hmm. yeah, we'll go ahead, um, we will sell, yes, so I'm going to sell the rotten fruit, yes, I don't know why I have so much rotten fruit on me. Okay, and I don't generally use these, but I do use the the dried meat when we do the camping thing. Okay, can see a fair bit amount of health. Dried flowers. We're gonna sell those, sell those, yes. And I've already saved an ogre's eyes, so we're gonna sell that, 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 and that. Here, let's see, what are you? Sell that. What are you drying up? Oh, I'll never use it. I sell this stuff that I don't generally use. Grim War 
that casts a spell upon being read, usable even by those incapable of magic. Oh, it's a lightning spell. Sweet. But I have lightning right, right now, so. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not an archer at the moment, so I'm not going to save stability extract. No, we're good with that. We will save... We will save the flowers and stuff here. What do you have anything on you? No. Do you? No. Okay. So we'll go ahead and let her keep that. Okay. Gold pieces are bought you by. So spend away, my good sir. Okay. I will do my best. No purchases to be made today, I see. Um, I just hope the shopkeep understands. Was enough to scratch the itch over in my here. Let's I've see. Manner of arms for sale. Come, a look. Let's see what we got over here. Do you have a better? Oh, it is better. Got that one. I don't like the look of it, but it is actually much better than the one I have currently. Okay, so we'll do that. Let's see if we can find a better sword for Daedra. Ooh, nice. Okay. At least it's got a little bit more strength to it. It's better than nothing, right? Yes. Okay, here we go. We're going to sell that. And we're going to sell, hmm, we're going to keep that for right now, because it's for another class. Okay. Here, let's see what to do. All right. Carry weight, weight carried, okay. Well, it does increase. Three tangle, yeah, I can do that. At least for right now. It'll give us a little bit better. Okay. We'll increase hers too. So, yes. Because we're not down in a place where we get really good upgrades yet. So, it'll work. There we go. Okay. At least we've got good equipment. Alright. Um, what do we want to do next? One of the quests that I have yet to actually do is um, uh, you have to talk to Trisha. You have to it's like a learning how learning to do magic. So Let's see. Quests, seat of the sovereign, place to go home. Okay, I don't know. Fill your application. Frequenting her dwelling for a week. Okay. We will need to get ourselves some. And yes, I do have a couple of mods on my game. But. I try not to use them too, too much, so, of course, as Red says, <laughs> if you're not trying, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's go. We're going to get ourselves just a few fairy stones, because we don't want to over-encumber ourselves, so we'll do, uh, let's start out with five. Because I know we also find them along the way. And we'll get ourselves... No, not that many. Two port crystals. An explorer's camping kit. You know, I don't know... I have learned that each camping kit looks different. And I really like the sand patterned one because it looks like an actual tent. I don't think I've ever seen... 
the Explorers camping kit. So we're going to do that. We're going to get ourselves a couple of lake stones just because and a couple of these. Not that I've ever actually used them. I don't need any of these right now. Don't need any of those. Okay, so we're done right now. Purchase. Okay. Many thanks. No problem. Take those 14 gold. And I know, uh, doing this with Check. the other, ooh, more greenish. Um, it would cost a lot more than that. That's okay. See, now I've learned that there are actual multiple side quests in now there's Vermin, a price. but I only work when I'm okay. I okay. Um, there's supposed to be more side quests in Vermin than I've actually done. Which is very strange to me because I know I've talked to quite a few people in here, but haven't really gotten any other side quests here. Besides in the slums. So I figure if I go around and I talk to people. Okay. Let's go around then if we can actually. The other day, I chanced to see a most resplendent ox cart on the high road. Oh. Now, that's not so strange. But guess who I saw riding in it? Poor little Daphne. I doubt with my eyes I did. And rightly so, as it turned out to be a young boy. The resemblance was so uncanny, I mistook him for her. Hmm. Gave me a right shock, let me tell you. Odd to think a young noble should so closely mirror a girl of the slums. Right. Their faces may match, but the lives they lead are as different as night and day. Aye, tis a cruel world we inhabit. I agree. That whole that whole quest line there, I think, is just mm, yeah. Fresh fruits for sale. Get them while they're okay. Get them while they're here. Say, have you been to Harm? Tis a quaint little village down by the sea. Well, if you do visit, you might want to give the old man who lives there a wide berth. Okay. I hear he sets out to sea on his boat day after day. Only to be returned to shore by the bride again and again. Hmm. If that wasn't queer enough, he's apt to talk your ear off about some world he believes lies beyond the sea. Okay. I cannot fathom his obsession. I suppose losing his family must have driven him to madness. <sighs> no spoilers on that one. <laughs> I've heard there's a means to tell if someone who claims to be arisen is in fact the real thing. See, there's an oracle up in the palace, whose powers allow her to divine whether the arisen yet lives. There's only one arisen in the world, so no matter how many pretenders come forth, the oracle can see through their lies. Although, come to think of it, is that really proof? Does the oracle know who the arisen is? Or only that they exist? Hmm. That is a good question. <sighs> okay, I have yet to find a Seeker's token yet in this playthrough. Uh, or I... I, I I have not... I have deliberately not picked up any Seeker's tokens yet. What sure a sign could there be that he is our ruler true? Mm. I do hope his majesty shall look. Hmm. What do you think? Does this suit me? 
Okay, so nobody here. Okay, so I'm not going to bore y'all with walking around here and talking to everybody all day. So let's see. Here to ask all of me, are you? What would you of me? My time isn't yours to waste. Huh. So I'm trying to figure well, out without looking friend. it up. Best to enjoy it. Um, well looking to make a purchase. Oh, I haven't met you before. Let's see what you got. Ooh, beast steak. Nice. Ooh, we'll take those. Because they won't go bad. What kind of ring there? Deflection. Okay. There we go. Talk. I dream of owning a little shop of my own. Hmm. Nice. Okay. Much obliged, sir. No problem. They don't get rotten. Got any tail to liven up my day? Huh. Not really. Don't think you're safe just because you're in the city. Monsters have gotten bolder of late and more ferocious. Okay. One found its way inside the common quarter just the other night. Much blood was spilled before the thing was cold. Oh boy. You could say it was an ill twist of fortune. But mayhap we ought to be better prepared for such incidents. Yeah, I agree. I wonder if building a nice high wall is out of the question. Well, what about the ones that can fly?